I always this see all these TikToks. I, I about really love it. Time crystals and all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very Marvel, very right, yeah. Doctor Who. Do- yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how we beat Thanos. Mr. Strange, Doctor Strange. Yeah. And- First, let's talk about what are time crystals. I would like to know that. Okay. So, before we even do that, normal crystals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the simplest crystal I can think of is table salt. Okay. NaCl, sodium chloride. And this regular sort of chessboard like structure, but a 3D sort of chessboard mm-hmm. of uh, sodium chlorine, sodium chlorine. I can take that entire crystal and move it by a whole molecule and I'll have the same thing repeating, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what's called a uh, symmetry breaking in space, okay. okay? Where it's no longer continuous because you can't just arbitrarily move this thing around. You have to move it by the lattice spacing, yep. right? The lattice constant of the crystal. Yes. And it's also resilient to forces and stress, right? Like a diamond, for example. I, I put stress on it the crystalline structure of the carbon atoms isn't really going to change mm-hmm. because the the way that these carbon atoms are bonded to each other, you know, I heat it up, that structure is going to be resilient. Yes. So there was a guy, Frank Wilczek, he was a Nobel uh, laureate. So he figured it, it's it's a very interesting, quite simple argument, okay? He said the laws of physics are symmetric to space translations, right? Meaning if I do a, if I do an experiment here and then I you know, take up the experiment and I move it somewhere else, the results of the experiment should be the same, right? If if all the environments are the same. Well, similarly, the laws of the universe are also symmetric in time, mm, right? Mm-hmm. If I do an experiment now and then I do it the next day, it should be the same. Yeah, yeah. So if we have things that break spatial symmetry by creating crystals in space, right, where you have clearly like carbon, yes making the diamond or NaCl making table salt. So you clearly have spatial crystals. What if I have a breaking of the time symmetry to create a time crystal? And what would that look like? What what that would look like is you've got some kind of periodic system that returns to its original form Mm -hmm. periodically, Mm. right? Mm -hmm. Frank Wilczek's idea was that you can have a, a system that is in its ground state right? In its lowest energy state, there's nothing coming in and it's still going to behave in this sort of periodic manner. Yes. Okay. That turns out can't be the case. Okay. Meaning like if you've, if you've cooled something down to its ground state, it's going to be stationary. But then people started wondering, all right, fine. What if I pump it with stuff? Can I create a crystal that way? Turns out that was possible. Okay. And, um, there were specialized quantum systems that could do this. This paper is very cool because it's doing it in a classical system Mm -hmm. and it's doing it at room temperature. Wow. And it's doing it at a big enough scale that we can see with our naked eye. 